Have you ever pondered the mysteries of the universe and wondered about the singularity theory? It's a question that has baffled even the brightest minds of our generation. The singularity theory, an intriguing concept that has held a significant place in the realm of cosmology and advanced physics, is a topic that is as fascinating as it is complex. Let's embark on a journey to understand this enigma. To begin, we must first understand what we mean by singularity. In the simplest terms, a singularity is a point in space or space-time where certain physical quantities become infinite or undefined. Imagine a situation where the rules of the game suddenly change and the predictable patterns of the universe as we know them cease to exist. That's essentially what a singularity is. It's like a glitch in the matrix of the cosmos, an anomaly where our understanding of physics and the laws of nature are turned on their heads. Now why is this concept so relevant in cosmology, you may ask? Well, singularities are thought to exist at the core of black holes and were likely present at the very beginning of our universe during the Big Bang. These points of infinite density and gravity are where our conventional understanding of physics breaks down, making them the subject of intense scientific scrutiny and debate. However, while the idea of singularities is intriguing, it's also fraught with challenges. For one, they are nearly impossible to observe directly due to their extreme conditions. Furthermore, our current understanding of physics is not equipped to deal with the infinities and undefined quantities that singularities present. This has led to numerous theories and hypotheses, each attempting to explain these cosmic conundrums in its own way. Understanding the singularity theory can be like trying to decipher an enigma wrapped in a ripple. But fear not, for the beauty of science lies in its relentless pursuit of knowledge and our quest to unravel the mysteries of the universe is far from over. Dive deep into the ocean of singularity theory, where the waters of understanding are as fathomless as the concept itself. Let's set sail on this voyage by first understanding what singularity is. At its core, singularity is a point in space-time where some property, typically density, becomes infinite. Now that's a bit of a mind-bender, isn't it? Infinity is a tricky concept even for the most seasoned mathematicians and physicists. Singularity theory is closely tied to two of the most profound phenomena in the cosmos, black holes and the Big Bang. Let's draw the curtain back on these cosmic mysteries. First, black holes. These are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. At the heart of a black hole, we find a singularity. Imagine squeezing a star ten times the mass of our sun into a sphere approximately the size of a city. The result? A black hole. And at the center of this black hole, the star's mass is crushed into a single, infinitely dense point, known as a singularity. Now, onto the Big Bang. This is the theoretical event that marked the birth of the universe roughly 13.8 billion years ago. According to the Big Bang theory, the universe started as a singularity, an infinitely small, infinitely hot, infinitely dense point. From this point, the universe expanded and cooled, eventually leading to the formation of atoms, stars, and galaxies. All of this from an initial singularity. But what does it mean to say densities reach infinity at a singularity? Let's break it down. Take a sugar cube. It has a certain mass and takes up a certain amount of space, giving it a density. Now imagine crushing that sugar cube into a smaller and smaller volume without losing any mass. As the volume shrinks, the density increases. In a singularity, this process is taken to the extreme. The volume shrinks to zero while the mass remains. This results in an infinite density. Now here's where things get really strange. In the realm of singularity, our understanding of the universe, the laws of physics, break down. Why? Because our current theories of physics can't handle infinities. They produce nonsensical answers when we try to apply them to singularities. This is one of the biggest unsolved problems in theoretical physics. How do we reconcile the laws of the very large, governed by general relativity, with the laws of the very small, governed by quantum mechanics? The answer lies at the heart of singularity theory, a realm where these two disparate branches of physics must somehow coalesce. In the realm of singularity, the laws of physics as we know them cease to exist. 
black holes, those mysterious cosmic entities are closely tied to the singularity theory. A black hole is born from the remnants of a massive star that has ended its life in a supernova explosion. The core of the star collapses under its own gravity, condensing into a point of infinite density. This point, according to the singularity theory, is where our understanding of the laws of physics breaks down and a singularity is formed. But what is a singularity? Well, it's a point where all the laws of physics as we know them cease to apply. It's a place where space-time curves infinitely and all matter is crushed into an infinitesimally small, infinitely dense point. Imagine trying to divide a number by zero. Technically, you can't, can you? That's what happens with a singularity. The laws of physics, as we know them, just don't work there. But we can't directly observe this singularity. Why? Because it's hidden behind a feature known as the event horizon. Think of the event horizon as the point of no return. Anything that crosses this boundary, be it light or a spacecraft, cannot escape the gravitational pull of the black hole. And this is where it gets really interesting. The event horizon is where our understanding of the universe becomes a bit fuzzy you see according to quantum mechanics information can never be destroyed but if something falls into a black hole past the event horizon and into the singularity isn't its information lost forever this is known as the information paradox and it's one of the greatest conundrums facing physicists today so black holes with their intense gravity infinite densities and event horizons serve as the perfect natural laboratories for testing the limits of our understanding of physics and the universe. Their very existence challenges our understanding of reality and forces us to push the boundaries of our knowledge. Black holes, with their event horizons and singularities, are like nature's ultimate magic trick. The Big Bang Theory provides a cosmic stage where the singularity theory plays a starring role. It's a scene that's been played out countless times in our collective imaginations. The universe in the beginning was a singularity, an entity of infinite density and temperature, infinitely small, yet infinitely potent. This is the Big Bang Theory's opening act, which paints a picture of a cosmos born from an entity which defies our understanding of physics. The Big Bang Theory, in its essence, suggests that our universe was not always as we see it today. The galaxies, stars and planets, the vast expanse of space and time, all sprang from a single point. A point so tiny it could fit on the tip of a needle, yet so dense it held the potential for all the matter and energy we see around us and far beyond. This point, this singularity, was the universe's cradle. Now you might be thinking, how can something so small and so dense give birth to something as expansive as our universe? Well, that's where the notion of the Big Bang singularity challenges our understanding of time and space. According to the theory, the singularity didn't exist within space because there was no space. It didn't exist within time because there was no time. It was a singularity that, in a moment of cosmic inflation, began to expand and cool, leading to the formation of the universe as we know it. The concept of the Big Bang Singularity is a mind-bending one. It suggests that our universe, with its four dimensions of space and time, originated from a point with no dimensions at all. It's a concept that pushes the boundaries of our understanding, forcing us to reconsider the very nature of existence. What does it mean for something to begin? What does it mean for time and space to have a starting point? These are the questions that the Big Bang Singularity poses. But it's not just about challenging our understanding. The Big Bang singularity also offers tantalizing clues about the nature of the universe. It hints at the existence of a universe that is finite in time, yet potentially infinite in space. It points to a cosmos that is ever expanding. Its galaxies moving away from each other as the echoes of the initial expansion continue to reverberate. Yet for all its grandeur, the Big Bang singularity remains shrouded in mystery we still don't fully understand the physics of singularities. We don't know what triggered the Big Bang or what was before it. The singularity marks both the beginning of our understanding and the boundary of our ignorance. 
The Big Bang singularity where time and space began is a concept that can stretch our minds to their limits. It's a puzzle that we are still trying to solve, a riddle that continues to captivate us. And as we delve deeper into the enigma of the singularity, who knows what other cosmic secrets we might uncover. The singularity theory doesn't just challenge our understanding of the universe, it also has profound implications. It's as if we've stumbled upon an enigmatic puzzle box, a cosmic Rubik's Cube that continually reshapes our perception of reality. Let's delve deeper into these implications. To start, the theory of singularity challenges the very foundations of our understanding of the universe. It pushes the boundaries of what we consider to be reality. For instance, if singularities do exist, then our current understanding of the laws of physics is incomplete. Because at the point of singularity, these laws, as we know them, seem to break down. They become a jumbled mess of infinities, leaving us with more questions than answers. This presents a paradox, a conundrum that scientists are still trying to unravel. But it's not just a theoretical puzzle. It's a practical challenge that could potentially revolutionize the field of physics. If we can unravel the secrets of singularity, we might be able to develop new theories that bridge the gap between the very large, the domain of general relativity, and the very small, the realm of quantum mechanics. Imagine the potential. We could potentially unlock new technologies or even new forms of energy. It could pave the way for groundbreaking discoveries that could change the course of human civilization. It's like standing on the edge of a new frontier, peering into the unknown. But the singularity theory also has philosophical implications. It forces us to confront the vastness of our ignorance. It reminds us that there are still mysteries out there waiting to be discovered. It challenges us to push the boundaries of our knowledge, to venture into uncharted territories. In the face of the singularity theory, we're reminded of how much we have yet to learn and discover. It's like a cosmic wake-up call, urging us to keep exploring, to keep questioning, to keep pushing the boundaries of what we know. As we navigate the labyrinth of the singularity theory, we realize the journey is as intriguing as the destination. In our quest to understand the universe, the singularity theory has been our guide, a compass pointing us towards the answers to some of the most profound cosmic mysteries. It has taken us through a journey of discovery and enlightenment, unveiling a universe far more intriguing and complex than we ever imagined. We started our journey at the enigma of singularity, exploring this concept that is as mystifying as it is fascinating. We learned that a singularity is a point in space-time where gravitational forces become infinitely large. At these points, our understanding of physics breaks down, creating a hole in our comprehension of the universe. Our journey then took us through the theory itself, unraveling its intricate layers. We discovered how the singularity theory is not just an abstract concept, but an integral part of our understanding of the universe. It's a tool that scientists use to make sense of the cosmos, helping us understand phenomena as diverse as black holes and the Big Bang. Onwards, we ventured into the black hole conundrum. We learned that inside a black hole, the laws of physics as we know them cease to exist. These cosmic monsters are defined by their singularities, the point of infinite density at their core. These singularities, hidden from our view by the event horizon, are the ultimate enigma, a mystery that continues to baffle scientists. Our expedition continued with a look at the Big Bang singularity, the point at the beginning of the universe. We learned how the singularity theory helps us understand the birth of our universe. The Big Bang wasn't an explosion in space, but an explosion of space, and at its heart was a singularity a point of infinite density and curvature of space-time. Next, we touched upon the implications of the singularity theory. We discussed how this theory, while complex and challenging, holds the key to understanding our universe. It is a testament to the power of human curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. It's a reminder that our quest to comprehend the universe is far from over and that every discovery brings us one step closer to the truth. So, here we are, at the end of our journey through the singularity theory. 
We've traversed a landscape of infinite complexity and profound mystery. We've confronted enigmas and paradoxes and emerged with a deeper understanding of our universe. With the singularity theory, we take a leap into the unknown, seeking answers to the universe's most profound mysteries. Our journey may be far from over, but with every step, we're getting closer to understanding the ultimate truth of our cosmos.